Hello, everyone. I'm Grace. Welcome to my channel, The Blooming Lotus in Paramita. Today, let's leave Calgary all the way to the west. Follow the Bow River. Pass through the forest and the lakeside trails. Here, you will see the morning glory of Lake Louise. Life and nature show their vivid side to us in the morning time. Find a nice and comfortable spot. Sit down. Choose a posture that you like. Have a few deep breaths. To adjust your mind and your body. Before today's meditation, I would like to say something about envy and jealous. How to face our envy? We don't want to admit it. Sometimes. When our friends become billionaires, get massive success in their careers, or publish their first book, we feel happy for them. At the same time, there is a little bit sour thing in our mind. We will ask, "Why not me?" I remember that when I was a teenager. My little cousin, who was ten years younger than me, came to our house and lived with me and my parents for a while. I surprisingly found that my parents were so friendly to him and never yelled at him, although he was pretty naughty. When I was at his age. The way my parents treated me were totally different. So, I asked my mom, "Why it was not me? Why you never treated me in such a nice, kind, and patient way?" Unfortunately, she could not give me an answer. Don't you think that we won't ask such silly questions when we grow up? When I was twenty years old and practicing law in China, I would envy my colleagues who made big money, or a female friend who married a good guy, etc. Finally, I met my Buddhism master and managed to free myself from the pursuing of fame and wealth. I started my Buddhism cultivation. But I found that at the same time, I started to attach to the Buddhism cultivation merits and the virtue. I want to be a unique person in Dharma practice. I want to have adequate opportunities to build on merits and the virtue, and I want to be recognized in this respect. When I saw people. Attained a special realm. Time to time, my heart would feel a little bit sour. That voice come back to me again. Why not me? I understand that envy or jealousy is not a healthy emotion. But as a female. I tend to believe that this is a part of my nature, so I never pay much attention to it. But before I get here, when I was walking on the lakeside trail, while the water was cold and the air smelled of pine wood. 
suddenly I felt so appreciated that I could escape from regular life and work. At the same time, I also realized that at this moment, my happiness, my appreciation, just like the pine would smell in the air. I can tell people. I can send them pictures and videos. They won't fully understand me. They might feel a little bit, but still, this is not their life. This is my life. It is my heart and my karma. In curse, everything in my life, no matter happiness or sadness, lucky moment. Or lost the moment, vice versa. People have their own life. People's heart and people's karma incur their life. When I see something beautiful happened in their life, I just see a picture from whole movie. Then I start to envy or even jealous, or ask myself, why not me? So what's the point? Only thing can change and decide our life is our heart. So envy and jealousy are useless. If we have time to ask, why not me? We'd better take that moment to recite. A sutra, or take a meditation. So from today, I will try to let go my envy and jealousy. Go back to my deep inside world to see how can I purify my heart. And change my mind. Hopefully, you can join me. Let's start our meditation today. Keep your spine straight, but not too tight. Take a few. Open your eyes. Gently look at the lake. I can see the smell in your face. Thank you so much for joining me. Embrace. I see you next week.